Morning. So today we're going to be trying some trick photography. I say trick, it's more manipulation. It's where you put one subject in a picture more than once. Sounds more complicated than what it is, but with a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of preparation, it's easy enough. I'm back on my favourite place, the uh, Brecon and Monmouthshire Canal. This time it's in Cumbran. Nice and local to me, so I, I use this place quite a bit. But uh, let's see what we can get. So this is one of my favourite types of photo. Um, I don't think there's a particular name for it, but I call it duplicity. It's not easy to say, it's easier to write down. But if you have a look on my Facebook page, John Griffin Photography, you'll find that there's a whole folder full of similar photos. So tip number one would be location. Find somewhere that's easy to edit. Right, you want somewhere with nice clean lines um, so that you can mask two layers together. One thing you will need is a nice sturdy tripod and a camera that you can put in manual focus mode. I'll explain why later. Once you've got your camera set up and frame, you're going to need to focus on a central point of the frame and then set it to manual focus while half pressing the shutter. What this will do is it will help keep everything in the same focus for all photos you take. It will also help with the white balance. Okay, so my camera's all set up, I'm framed, and I'm, I've set a focal point and then I've put it onto manual focus. All these settings will help with when you edit the photos together, because then you won't have to change things like your lighting and so on. So when I took my first set of photos, my head was missing. So as I said earlier, um, just do a, a trial run. Don't expect to get it right the first time. It's all trial and error, but it's all the fun of taking this type of photo. So here's where I set up now. These are the two images that I'm going to put together as one picture. First thing I need to do is select the subject in the bottom image that I want to transpose into the top one. So I'm basically just going to draw a box around it and I just need to make sure that everything in the subject is included within that box. So you can see the foot is missing out of it. So I just need to make that box a little bit bigger. And then tick the box at the top to complete that. And now I need to move it onto the top picture. So you can see it's not lined up yet. To make the page bigger, I'm going to close the bottom object. And now I'll just zoom in so that I can see the detail more. This just helps you to line everything up correctly. You can see on the wall, uh, you can see where it's not quite lined up. So this is the area that I use as a focal point. You can see there's two dots. So I'm roughly putting them where they should be. And you can see the walls now lined up. And then just scroll down. And that allows me to check to make sure that it's not only horizontally lined up, but it's also vertically as well. And it's all looking good. And here's the end picture. Happy with that. Obviously the one thing you can't control is the weather. And it's just started to rain. So look after your equipment and put it away if it starts raining. I don't have to tell you that, do I? Okay, so once I moved when it started raining, uh, this is where I went to and this is the new image that I got and you can see where I've put this image in with this one there's a difference ever so slightly in the exposure now originally I was going to change the exposure I was going to reduce it to make it darker but the problem with that is that you can see 
where there's been a time difference between taking the two photos, the background has moved. So the cloud that is there is now here, which is no good. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line around myself there and remove the background. Okay, and the way we do that is using the magnetic lasso tool. So basically all we do is we start off and what I tend to do is every time I meet a bump or I change direction, I click to give us a, a little tag. It takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, but you'll see the benefits now. So I'm just going to carry on with this a minute. So I've gone all the way around the outline of myself. I've kept fairly close to it and I've got a feather of zero. And what that'll do is it'll mean that it'll be, there won't be any sort of like image edges where it's faded out and so on. But what I need to do is I need to select the inverse. And what that'll do is rather than selecting this area, it will select on the outside of the lines to the edges. And now if I delete, voila, you can see that it's more or less taken away everything there. And if I deselect, that's looking pretty good. Let's zoom out. And another image. Yeah, I'm happy with that one. So the last example is where there's three of me in one picture. I've already put two in the top one, as you can see. And I'm just going to add myself again from the bottom image. So I've got a mask around it, moving it up. And the next stage is just to place it in the correct area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the houses at the top just to line it up vertically. And then I can line up the bench. So you can see there is a little bit of shading difference in the bench. Um, but that, that's fine because um, that's going to disappear because I'm in that area anyway. So now we've got it all lined up. It's just a case of removing the background of the third image that covers me up. So we're going to do exactly the same as we did in the previous image, and that is use the magnetic lasso to put a, like a halo around me, an area which we want to keep. So I'm going to fast forward this because I've shown you this in the previous example. So I'm going to carry on with it, it's a little bit tedious, but there we are, we've got it all done. So I've just inverted the image. And now if I hide that layer, you can see the area that I need to remove on the third image. And I do that simply by clicking the delete button, which will then show me as the image I want. Everything looks good. So I'm just going to zoom in and you can see there's little areas which hasn't been uh, taken out of the, the third image. So what I need to do is, I'm just going to use the clothing tool on this because the, the colours are the same on the jacket and it, it's easier. You know me, I don't like editing much. There's a little bit on the right hand side as well that you can see. 
So I'm just going to carry on and get the bits away that uh, I don't need, just so that the image looks a little bit better. Let's see the other bit. Obviously, if you spend a little bit, bit more time on the magnetic lasso, then you can make it more accurate. But these little adjustments, they don't take too long. And then if we zoom out, there we are. Happy with that one? Looks good. So what I do now is I just put up the images that um, I've taken over the last couple of days and some previous examples. And hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like, subscribe, any comments would be grateful. And I shall see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.